So 65 is a, I'm much less hard on myself. Yeah. I'm very much an acceptance of what I look like and I own what I think and feel. The term anti-aging. What? What I are you mean. talking about? If we talk about Hollywood longevity, one name that immediately comes to mind is Jamie Lee Curtis. At the age of 65, with an outstanding career spanning over 45 years and an Oscar and Academy Award to her name, she continues to captivate audiences with her unique talent and magnetic on-screen roles. 65 is a moment of reflection and excitement. So for me, I feel more excited, more turned on creatively. Stay still the end of this video as Curtis spills the beans on her easy yet effective longevity secrets that have formed the foundation of her maintained health and youthfulness, keeping her looking half her age. Jamie Lee Curtis was born on November 22, 1958 in Los Angeles, California. Curtis made her Hollywood debut and rose to prominence with her portrayal of Laurie Strode in the movie Halloween, 1978. Curtis's career includes a wide range of movies, including comedies such as Trading Places, A Fish Called Wanda, and Freaky Friday. She has also been on television starring in Anything But Love, which earned her a Golden Globe, and Nicholas Gift, which got her an Emmy nomination. Because the longing for attention and appreciation for your work is universal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I, I, whatever job you do, you hope someone appreciates you. I wasn't originally going to be an actress. I was going to be a police officer. I thought I'd be a really good cop. The Knives Out star told Vulture in November 2022. However, Curtis's impressive career is not the only reason why she stays relevant. Her continued youthful and healthy looks have kept everyone wondering how she has maintained a healthy appearance people half her age would admire. At one point, Curtis left everyone speechless after she shared a no-makeup selfie on her Instagram, with countless people pointing out how she doesn't look her age. Jamie has also been an advocate against obsession of one's look in the mirror, as it can cause people to struggle with the acceptance of their physical appearance. Jamie Lee Curtis. That is so she's aiming and aspiring to be. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. I have been an advocate for natural beauty for a long time. She said, I'll turn my back on it. I'm trying to live in acceptance. And if I look in the mirror, it's harder for me to be in acceptance. I'm more critical. So what are the exact secrets she sticks to in maintaining such admirable youthfulness and vitality? Well, say least, because in this video, she will reveal her skincare routine. Next, she will spill the beans on the three foods she eats to maintain her health and the one food she avoids to stay healthy. She will also share her secrets on the one supplement she swears by. Then she will show us her exercise routine and lastly, we will talk about her struggles with addiction and how she was able to overcome such tough times. Let's start with her skincare routine. Mostly because I've had the trial and error of the other part. I did plastic surgery, it didn't work. I hated it, it made me feel worse. Um, mm. I tried to do everything you can do to your hair. Aside from performing, Jamie has long been an outspoken opponent of aging stigmas and a culture that drives women to appear youthful at all costs. She's unapologetically pro-aging. So when asked what advice she would give to her daughters when it comes to taking care of themselves, Jamie went straight to the point and said, don't mess with your face. This is why the actress has always been an advocate of being simple when it comes to anything related to aesthetics. And yes, this includes her skincare routine, so much so that she revealed how much of a fan she is of drugstore products. In fact, when asked about it, Jamie shared that she only has a two-step skincare routine that consists of sea breeze and Nevia. And guess how much that cost her, roughly $14. Jamie said that she had tried more expensive products, but they did not live up to expectations. I spent $800 on a big jar of a cream. It didn't do anything, she said. It doesn't do anything. The truth of the matter is, it doesn't do anything for you. It's a scam to make money. Of course, Jamie also likes to take care of herself from the inside and make sure that she eats healthy to maintain her youthful appearance. Four foods she eats to maintain her health. In a 2008 interview with Everyday Health, Curtis revealed that she has strict guidelines when it comes to food. That's the real real Jamie Lee Curtis like in the kitchen. Well, I, I'm a cook. I got married and didn't know how to cook. And I, even at my wedding uh, shower, we did fish. Uh, uh, First on her list shower. is fish. Yeah. And not just the normal number of fish, because the actress shared that she eats a lot of fish to keep her diet balanced and complete. When asked about it, the actress answered that she tries to eat three to five servings of fish a week. And while some of you will say that it's too much, there's a good reason why Jamie would prefer to do this. You see, fish is a low-fat, high-quality protein. 
On top of this, it also contains omega-3 fatty acids and vitamins D and B2. Not to mention how fish have high levels of calcium and phosphate, as well as iron, zinc, iodine, magnesium, and potassium. This means that fish is high in protein, vitamins, and minerals, which helps lower blood pressure and lessen the risk of heart attack or stroke. The American Heart Association suggests consuming fish at least twice a week as part of a balanced diet. Other than this, eating fish is also beneficial for keeping our brains sharp, especially when we are growing older. Many observational studies have found that people who consume more fish experience slower rates of mental deterioration. Legumes When asked what she thinks about eating foods high in fiber, the actress revealed that she believes it's very beneficial to consume a lot, saying, increase your fiber intake by eating fruits, vegetables, and legumes. And right now, the star of the show is legumes. But why? Legumes are a kind of vegetable. If you've eaten beans or peas, you've had them before. However, there are around 16,000 kinds cultivated all over the world in various sizes, shapes, colors, and textures. Green beans and snow peas can be eaten in their pods right off the plant. Other types of pods include edible seeds called pulses. Nonetheless, legumes are rich in health benefits. In fact, when eaten regularly, legumes may help to protect against type 2 diabetes, improve blood sugar and blood fat control for people who have diabetes, lower blood pressure and cholesterol, control weight, and even lower your risk of heart disease. But wait, there's more. Legumes are loaded with nutrients. They are low in calories, but the fiber and protein in them will keep you full and satisfied throughout the day. This is how it works. The body slowly digests the carbohydrates and beans, giving consistent energy to the body, brain, and neurological system. A study published in WebMD also supports these claims and reveals more health benefits a person can get if they start eating legumes. For starters, legumes include antioxidants, which can help prevent cell damage produced by harmful chemicals known as free radicals. On top of this, it is also proven to help with digestion and even lower the risk of cancer. And for someone like Jamie who loves keeping herself healthy, eating legumes, among other things, is part of her commitment to continue staying as healthy as she can. Meat More specifically, the actress mentioned that she prefers to consume meats that are lower in fat. While there's a stigma when it comes to meat, the actress is very specific about the kind of meat she eats and suggests trying chicken, turkey, and pork instead. And honestly, you will be surprised at the amount of benefits these lean meats have. Lean meats provide a solid amount of protein while containing fewer calories. This is the reason why it is popular among those on reduced calorie and fat diets. Specifically, poultry such as chicken and turkey contain selenium, vitamins B3 and B6, and choline. Selenium contains antioxidant qualities that help keep free radicals from harming cells while also improving the immunological system. On the other hand, vitamins B3 and B6 help the body turn carbohydrates into glucose and promote the synthesis of stress and sex hormones. While choline improves nerve function and can lessen inflammation, studies found in the National Library of Medicine also vouch that meat containing less fat can help promote heart health. So with proper meal prep and responsible consumption, meat can bring so many health benefits to everyone. Water. Last but not least, Jamie is very serious when it comes to her water intake and keeping hydrated throughout the day. The actress was very firm when she said, fluids are key. Drink lots of water, and we totally agree. And it's no secret that drinking enough water every day is critical for your health. First of all, drinking water will keep you from being dehydrated, which can cause dizziness, mood swings, overheating, constipation, and even kidney stones. On top of this, water contains no calories, Therefore, it can help in weight management and calorie reduction when swapped with calorie-containing beverages such as sweet tea or ordinary soda. Not to mention how it is essential for numerous bodily processes, such as delivering nutrition to cells, eliminating waste, protecting joints and organs, and controlling body temperature. A study published at Harvard Medical School also suggests the amount of water people should drink to maximize its health benefits. Most adults require around four to six glasses of plain water each day. However, it may surprise you to hear that water intake varies by individual. While the daily 4 to 6 cup rule applies to generally healthy people, the quantity will still depend on how much water they get from other drinks and food sources. Additionally, certain health problems, medicines, exercise level, and ambient temperature all have an impact on total daily water intake, so it's better to ask your doctor next time you visit. The supplement she swears by. Aside from food, Jamie is also a big fan of supplements. Specifically, ketogenic supplements. Jamie is so passionate about it that she even launched her ketogenic supplements, and people were very excited about it. Based on records, Jamie's keto gummies are intended to accomplish weight loss in a way that assists your body in entering the metabolic state known as ketosis. 
A lot of people favor the ketogenic metabolic phase because it allows your body to use fat acids as its primary source of energy instead of the normal glucose that carbs provide, and the ketogenic gummies claim to help you enter ketosis as rapidly as possible. The strong natural ingredients in these ketogenic gummies may help you attain your fitness goals without partaking in any workouts. For instance, the beta-hydroxybutyrate, or BHB, found in the gummies helps the body enter ketosis more quickly. This way, the body uses fat as fuel rather than carbs, resulting in rapid weight reduction. On the other hand, green tea, which is another active ingredient in these keto gummies, boosts metabolism and promotes fat burning. There is also apple cider vinegar, which regulates blood sugar and aids digestion, and ginger root, which reduces inflammation and promotes proper digestion. Lastly, the medium-chain triglycerides, MCTS, included in the gummies provide a rapid source of energy while fasting or eating minimal carbs. Studies also claim that keto supplements can bring countless health benefits. Because of the BHB, keto supplements are proven to aid in burning calories and basically can help you lose weight and trim down your neck, thighs, and waist. At the same time, it reduced fatigue. And despite promoting weight loss, keto supplements do not zap your energy, which is why you can stay focused and productive at work while losing the extra weight. Food she never eats. If there is anything Jamie avoids, it's eating fried food. Avoid fried and fatty foods. That's obvious. Jamie said when asked what advice she can give to people who want to stay healthy, and she has a very good reason for saying this. Deep frying has a higher calorie content than other cooking techniques. Fried meals are usually covered with batter or flour before being fried. When foods are cooked in oil, they lose water and absorb fat, increasing their calorie value. Fried meals have much more fat and calories than their non-fried equivalents. Fried foods are also very high in trans fat. Frying foods may hydrogenate its fat content. This occurs when oils are cooked to high temperatures. This process alters the chemical structure of lipids, making them tough for your body to digest, perhaps leading to significant health consequences. In reality, trans fats have been linked to an increased risk of a variety of health issues, including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and obesity. And because fried meals are cooked in oil at extremely high temperatures, they are likely to contain trans fats, which can be very deadly in the long run. A new study conducted by the University of Iowa in Iowa City revealed that women over 50 who eat fried meals daily may increase their risk of mortality. So if you don't want to compromise your health, make sure you follow Jamie's advice and avoid eating so much fried food. Jamie Lee Curtis Exercise Routine Aside from keeping her diet in check, Jamie also makes sure she hits the gym and stays fit. A 2021 Oc Magazine interview gave us a glimpse of what she does to stay physically fit. In the interview, the actress stated that she rotates between yoga and Pilates. While contemporary media and advertising may lead us to believe that yoga is only about physical poses, it encompasses a wide range of contemplative and self-disciplinary techniques like meditation, chanting, mantras, prayer, breathwork, ritual, and even altruistic action. The term yoga is derived from the root word yuj, which means to yoke or to bind. The word itself has several connotations, ranging from an astrological conjunction to nuptials, with the underlying concept of connectedness. And yes, yoga is actually beneficial for people who love to stay fit. It improves flexibility, balance, and strength. Of course, it can also help with back pain. This is because yoga is equally effective as basic stretching for relieving pain and improving mobility in patients with lower back pain. So much so that the American College of Physicians recommends yoga as the first line of treatment for persistent low back pain. Research suggests that consistently doing Pilates could help relieve pain, develop core strength, improve flexibility, balance, and coordination, and promote self-awareness. She also recognizes the importance of a neighborhood stroll and shared that she makes sure to get her daily steps as much as she can. I walk with girlfriends, she explained. It's incredibly good for you. Surprisingly, walking helps burn calories and even promote heart health. Yes, you heard that right. Walking for at least 30 minutes each day, five days a week, can lower your risk of coronary heart disease by around 19%. Your risk may be reduced even further if you increase the length or distance you walk each day. On top of this, it can improve joint health and boost your energy. So, when is the best time to walk? Well, studies revealed that going for a stroll when you're fatigued may provide a more effective energy boost than drinking a cup of coffee. This is because walking enhances the flow of oxygen throughout the body. It can also cause a rise in cortisol, adrenaline, and norepinephrine, the hormones that help boost energy levels. Curtis Life's Struggle with Addiction I had been nursing a secret Vicodin addiction for a very long time, over 10 years. Behind the success, Jamie also has her fair share of struggles, one of which includes her battle with addiction. 
Jamie had a history of drug addiction before being prescribed Vicodin in the 1980s following surgery. It was revealed that she and her father, who had been sober for three years before relapsing, once used cocaine together. However, losing her brother to an overdose made her realize that she should start getting help. After a decade of battling with her demons, the actress decided it was time to take her sobriety journey seriously, which might be one of the best decisions she made since long-term use of these drugs can be very dangerous. For instance, Vicodin use may cause a variety of unpleasant side effects, including nausea, headache, and disorientation, which swiftly subside as the medication exits the body. In the long term, the effects of Vicodin can impair a person's overall health. I'm sober today. Am I going to be sober for the rest of my life? I hope so. I'm going to do everything I can to be. But and I'm, I'm saying, in recovery. I'm and I work a hard, good program, and I, I pay a lot of attention to it. But it's a pernicious, pernicious disease. The high concentration of acetaminophen, the non-opioid in Vicodin, harms the liver. Long-term Vicodin usage can cause irreparable scarring, liver malfunction, and eventual liver failure. It also decreases the respiratory reflex. This can result in respiratory infections and other significant lung issues. Furthermore, Vicodin impairs gastrointestinal function and can cause persistent constipation, which can lead to other major health problems such as irreversible intestinal damage. Luckily, Jamie had been sober for years now, and the actress shared her journey to inspire those who would like to do the same. In an interview with Morning Joe, Jamie stated that sobriety made things crystal clear for her. I was an opiate addict, and I liked a good opiate buzz, she shared. And if fentanyl was available as easily available as it is today on the street, I'd be dead. The Everything Everywhere All at Once actress stated that her sobriety journey has enabled her to live an incredible life, and that her sobriety is undeniably her greatest accomplishment. Jamie Lee Curtis is the epitome of beauty and grace, and her health journey will continue to inspire people that nothing is impossible, even with age.